All right, here we have Cave Mice, Ron Rose Tilton, Stone of Fire. And we are on chapter five. So they're going to investigate. The plot has thickened. Did you get that, Geronimo? Here we go. Fern was a tall, thin rodent with a nose as pointy as the horn of a triceratops. She stared at the bump on my head and said, oh good, I see that you got my message. There's no time to waste. I'll show you the scene of the crime. Someone stole our most precious artifact, the Stone of Fire. Then she looked at me more closely, her eyes narrowing. Are you Geronimo Stiltonute, the famous editor of the Stone Gazette? You look just like him. I was about to respond, but Hercule jumped in. Oh, he's just my assistant. Fern walked away before I could protest. Hercule whispered to me, Come on, Geronimo, take notes. Have I told you that Hercule likes all the attention for himself? But he's my friend, and I want to help. As Fern led us to the room where the theft took place, I took out my pocket stone tablet and chiseled. Magnifying glass, made from a very thin tablet or a pure crystal. Powdered flint, used for dusting surfaces for fingerprints. Stone ID card of a private investigator. Granite handcuffs to hold the paws of bad guys. The tools of a Stone Age investigator. Notice how the author made headings for each one. Hercule looked very pleased with himself as he began examining the room for clues. Hmm, strange. There's stalactite dust on the ground. Chisel that down, Geronimo, he said. Yes, yes, I'm chiseling, I replied. Hmm, strange. There are paw prints leading to the window, he said. Did you get that, Geronimo? I felt rushed. Give me a minute. I'm chiseling as fast as my paws can go. Hmm, very strange. Beneath this window, outside, I see some broken stones. Did you get that, Geronimo? I was chiseling so fast that stone chips were flying everywhere, but I still couldn't keep up. What do you think? I am. A typewriter? I snapped. Those haven't even been invented yet. So here they've given us a label with a key. Map of the flat world. They didn't know the world was round yet. Two, an early club. Three, first wheel. Four, fossilized ham. Five, cave painting. Six, stone of fire, which is missing. Seven, scary saurosaurus. Scary saurosaurus. Scary saurus skeleton. <laughs> Seed dinosaur, skeleton of the first cave mouse, and modern sculpture, at least it was modern back then. It's the old mouse city, mouseum. Hard to see, huh? Hercule shrugged and looked at Fern. Assistants, they're such lazy cheese heads, always complaining. I am not your... I started to protest, but I was distracted by something dripping on my snout. Drip, drip, drip. What could it be? All I knew was that it had an awful smell. Mmm, huff, puff, and chiseling. What do you think that dripping is? Ooh. I looked up at the ceiling and saw what looked like a round hole covered with sticky yellow, yellowish glop. I pointed at it. What's that? If you ask me, the thieves must have come in through here. Hercule sh shushed me. Silence, assistant. Leave the talking to me. He walked up to Fern and pointed at the hole. Then he repeated my exact words. If you ask me, the thieves must have come in through here. What is that sticky glop? I asked. Hmm. He stuck his paw in the stuff and smiled triumphantly. What is dripping?
It's elementary, my dear mouse. This is fresh dino cement, a sticky mixture of clay, peridactyl guano, and gum tree resin. I shuddered. What a nasty mess. Hercule leaned towards me and, ex and examined the drops on my snout. Ha! he exclaimed. Just as I expected. There are flies stuck in the dino cement, and this species of fly only lives in stinky swamp. My mind was spinning like a wheel of cheese rolling downhill. I was confused, but Hercule was confident. He led me to the roof where he found some large paw prints left by felines. Felines are cats. Another academic word. It's so obvious, he boasted. They dropped down from the roof, took the stone of fire, sealed the hole with fresh dino cement, and fled through the window. Did you get that, Geronimo? It's elementary, my dear mouse. All right, so that is chapter five. They're getting closer to solving who stole the stone of fire.